know what you want to call them. Uh, Gino and Miguel. And um, this is incredible. How have I not known about this? We have so many uh, like little gyms in the city, right? This is definitely one of them. I think everything started with Gina that had a vision about opening. Gina's the she, owner. Yes, yeah, she's the owner of the restaurant. She wanted to open something unique. Uh, something that where she's from, and uh, that's how this restaurant started. started. And um, she also had a dream of actually fitting to be there, and that's one of the reasons why the decoration has grids as the lamp, so you kind of feel like you're in our outside of Argentina. Yeah, it's, it's all about, of course, the food is authentic, but so is the ambiance, and you walk in, you don't feel like um, you're in. The, the gallery area, exactly. you know, <laughs> which is nice. And that's our goal, to transport you somewhere else. So. Okay, so what is this on piece? And now? this one right over here is our uh, ceviche, and we okay. do it uh, South American style. Uh, we have some fresh avoc avocado, we have flounder, shrimp, we marinate it for a couple hours with uh, lime and lemon juice. Okay. Uh, we make some tortilla chips and jalapeno, so it's really good. I did one thing wrong. I should have started with the wine. <laughs> Never too early to drink, right? That's so true. It's, it's in the title, Tango and Malbec. Yes. So we Rest have like the biggest list that we live in the United States of uh, Malbecs. This is what I know about wine. I like it. I don't <laughs> <There you discriminate. laughs> right? I don't discriminate. But so what is it about this kind of wine? Well, um, I mean, Malbec is a very unique wine. Um, it's rich in flavor and aromas. It depends on what kind of uh, wine would you like? You want to get a dry wine, full body wine, mid um, mid body wine, something like. We got different kind of tastes and, and on our list, and um, it depends on what kind of food we would like to get with. Right. So this, but this would go really well with, say, maybe the beef empanadas. Is that what that yes, is? Yes, or the selection that we have here actually goes great with uh, steaks. So this okay. one's uh, been aged for about. Uh, so here is an oak. Okay. So you're gonna feel a little bit dry in it. So uh, how you can complement that? It's with the uh, meat, for example, the mini empanada flux. Okay. Each empanada represents a region. We always put chimichurri on everything. That's our kind of Argentinian because it goes well with everything. Kind of like, uh, you know how they say the bread and butter. And the same thing with the chimichurri and steak and everything. Tell me about this grill. Actually, our grill, as you can see, we like to show off. Or grill, especially because it's kind of unique, uh -huh. and uh, not everybody in Houston will have the opportunity to see something like this. Uh, Argentina are known for. Um, have a name. We don't say have a name yet. Okay. We just call it the the, the, the awesome tango grill and also awesome grill. Yes, okay. So it's from Argentina, and they it took um, like. I'm gonna say about 12 permits to actually get it. Okay. Get it from the city of Houston, they didn't know what, they were uh, what we were talking about, what we wanted to add, something like that. Who are these people? Why are they bringing this interaction <laughs> in? Yeah. Because we want to add the uh, wood flavor to all of our steaks and everything that we cook here. So we use mesquite and pecan um, to give the hint of flavor and smokiness to our steaks. Uh, we actually have the margarita as one of our inventions here. Uh -huh. we, uh, we decided to come up with a margarita, marga martini, a very unique uh, drinks made of a Malbec. Uh, we use Malbec as a base and yeah. the drinks. We got a, a different kind of flavor. On the margarita, it's more, a little more sweet. What's really cool is you guys do, um, every Saturday night, there's wild people with <coughs> dying. Yeah, actually, there's tango going on, right? There is. And then, once again, we try to make it make you feel like you're in Argentina. So, and that's our goal with the food, with everything. Every Saturday night, we have a tango show from 7.30 to 9.30. And then, it's uh, what else so cool, if you want to learn about uh, tango or you don't know how to tango, they also provide classes on Sundays. On Sundays? Yes. All right, so now that I have liquid courage, guys, I'm going to take a tango lesson. So, Susana, here's the beautiful one you saw dancing. Um, you're actually from Argentina. I am from Buenos Aires. But you've been now in Houston for uh, many years. Yeah, uh, almost my whole life. Almost 30 years. How cool is it to have something like this in the city for people to experience? Uh, I think it's so awesome. I mean, uh, especially since I'm so passionate about uh, our culture and, and, and this dance. Yeah. So you, you dance every Saturday night, and as we mentioned, um, there's lessons that y'all do on Sundays. Uh, every 
Sunday. Uh, we have beginner classes at 4 and uh, intermediate classes at uh, 5. Awesome. And afterward we stay and practice or move, so I like to say sit, dance, repeat. <laughs> okay, sit, so dance, repeat. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> That's what I said. I don't know that drinking and then dancing is my best combo, but we're going to try today. And my dance partner's name is... Gonzalo. 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 Okay. Yeah. Hello. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with my hands. Awkward. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to teach us. Yes. So one thing uh, about tango is that you do want to invade your partner's space. So oh. it stands closed on the top. So Gonzalo's going to go ahead and embrace you here. Okay. And you want to make a connection right here. And this is very relaxed. Okay. So today we're going to do something called bacochos. Okay. Okay. The lady, you will be starting to your right, and then he will pivot you. So stay on that right foot. Perfect. Okay. Now you're going to go back with the left. And stay on that left foot as he pivots you around. What do I do with my right foot? Yeah, put, put them together. Oh, together and pivot. There we go. And we'll do a check step. So you're going to step back and step forward through the center. And whoop. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, I get an F for that. But what gets an A in my book is this dessert, y'all. I didn't even get a chance to try it. So for more information on Tango and Malbec, you can go to greatdayhouston.com. And now I'm going to um, lead the dancing to the pros. Up next, an organization.